Hey, thank you very much, Money Plays. Give it up for your host and CEO, Mike, over here, guys. It's so nice of Mike to... Wow, thanks, one lady. The rest of you are assholes. Give it up for Mike for putting this show on, especially... You know what? It's hard enough to put the show on, but Mike is four months pregnant, if you haven't noticed. So, Mike, you're lucky that all your weight goes into your stomach. All my weight goes into my ball sack chin. So, one per when I shaved one time, one person said, you look like a young Winston Churchill. And I'm like, not a compliment. Not, not the most pussy-getting of historical figures, that Winston Churchill. So, uh... I'm a teacher, and it's it's my first year being a teacher, and I'm... No, punch the camera, lady. Punch it. Punch it loud and punch it hard. Yes, more at me. Thank you. Great. You're buying drinks. You're fine. So I'm a teacher. It's stressful. It's my first year. And you know what? I don't, want, I don't know if I want to be a teacher. And my mentor, my coach, basically, is like, Matt, I know you want to be a teacher because you know what? You love these kids. And I looked at her, and we're in, the middle of, we're in the middle of a hallway, and there are way too many people, and I'm very frustrated with the day, and I say as loud as I fucking can, loving children has never been my issue. Shit. Because when you just say that out of context, I'm a pedophile. Hi, everybody. I'm a teacher. Nice to meet you. So uh, it's interesting being a teacher. It's interesting because I don't know how to deal with certain situations. Last week, one of my children looked me dead in the eye and said, Mr. Wiegand, when did God die? I was like, holy shit. Well, uh, for me, he died in college when I caught my, my girlfriend cheating on me with my roommate. But it's different for everybody, son. It's different for everybody. Wow, thank you for applauding my pain. I appreciate that. This man's gone through some terrible things in his life. Woo! Woo! That's <laughs> hammer in the nails, lady. Right into my heart. So this was two weeks ago. I'm going to tell this story. I sat down on the greatest conversation I've ever heard in my entire life. And it was a man and a woman. And the girl was really hot. And the man I despise more than any person on the face of the earth. Because they, they went through these things. He said these words. Listen... I don't want to inflame my ego too much, but I'm a kind of a fucking catch right now. And she goes, uh-huh. And then he goes, you haven't even seen my scars yet. And she goes, uh-huh. And he goes, it didn't even matter if you had stood me up right now because I could walk up to anybody in this bar and I can make friends with them just like that because that's just the kind of guy that I am. And she goes, uh-huh. And then he goes, you know what? Then I put that little Mexican kid on his ass because I was on the wrestling team. Plus, I was in the magnet program in high school. So what's up? And she goes, uh-huh. And then he goes, if I were to ask you to marry me, I would ask every single man in your family for permission. Every single man. Cousins, brothers, fathers, because that's just the kind of guy who I am. And she goes, uh-huh. And then he says, if we were to date, you'd be mine, but not like a slave or possession kind of thing, if you get that. And she goes, uh-huh. And then they made out in front of me, because that's how fairy tales end, ladies and gentlemen. That's how fairy tales end. And then blood shot out of my fucking face because that was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. If, uh, if you're on a date, ladies, and the guy says nothing but every one of your situations is just a lesser version of all the situations I've gone through my, in my life, run the fuck away because he's a douchebag, all right? And those two people, those two people are going to get married and they're going to have kids and with wedding pictures, he's going to have a very large belt buckle and a cowboy hat, even though he's never rode a fucking horse in his entire life. And she's going to have a lovely veil, and her tits will be out and up, and it will be gorgeous. And their sons will all ride motor well, motocross, have studs in their ears, loosely use the word faggot, and yet wax their eyebrows. And all of their daughters, daughters will turn 21, have kids at 25, uh, take every picture with a rock on sign, their tongue out, and their boobs out. So whatever, life is great. I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> don't? That'd be bad if I did that. That's how you ruin a mic. And that's how you get kicked out of a place. I will leave you guys with nothing. I'm done. Thank you very much. My name is Tyler. Good night.